Okay, so I had a problem. My wireless bill for my second phone number was going up because I recently switched home internet providers and I didn't want to pay $35 for a second line. One day I was watching YouTube and this ad popped up with Ryan Reynolds talking about Mint Mobile. $15 a month was too good to pass up. So I've been using Mint Mobile for one month. Let me tell you how it went. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adrian Reddix and we're talking about Mint Mobile today. Mint Mobile is what they call a MVNO, and that's a mobile virtual network operator. What does that mean? So what they do is they have a real legitimate phone company. They sell services and phones, but they don't actually own any of the infrastructure. They rent or lease infrastructure from any of the big players that actually do have the actual network infrastructure. Uh, Net 10 uh, does this. Um, uh, any of the track phones also do this. Mint Mobile uses the T-Mobile network, which is going to be very important later on in this video. I think the biggest attraction to Mint Mobile is the price. The $15 a month is something fantastic. You get unlimited talk, unlimited text, and four gigs of data for $15 a month. Mm, there's a catch. So if you look at some of the plans on Mint Mobile, you'll see that it's different tiers for the same exact plan. That's because they give you a bulk discount whenever you buy more months up front. So you can go month to month, but you're not going to get that $15 a month price. You have to buy the whole year. So you buy the year and that averages out to $15 a month. So you pay a higher upfront cost, but over the long term, it's cheaper month to month when you average it out. So that's the catch in the whole situation. So in the beginning, when you, you first start your service, if you buy, let's say three months, you usually have some type of promotion going on where they'll give you an extra three months on top of that. So instead of paying the $90 for six months, you end up paying 45 and get three months free on top of that, just as a introductory to Mint Mobile. So if you're prepared to have that upfront cost, then over the long period of time, it can definitely be a good savings. So as far as service, um, my situation is a little more unique. I live in a more metro area in central Mississippi. I work in a more rural area. So I have the best testing environment to test it when there is a lot of towers around and when there's not a lot of towers around. Anytime you get a new service, first, before you get the service, make sure that the coverage map says that uh, wherever you're gonna use it at, it's gonna work. Just because the coverage map says that it works there doesn't mean that it's actually gonna work. When you first get your phone, make sure you go to every place you normally go and make sure that phone works there. The phone I'm using is a Samsung Galaxy S8. I know it's old. That's what I have. You know, I don't have the thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on um, the new Galaxy or whatever the new Oppo or Sony phone is. Right. When we talk about text and calling, I had absolutely no issue between my metro home and my um, rural workplace. There was no issue with me ever calling anybody. I never dropped signal as far as calls i've never wasn't able to send a text no matter where i used it the issue came when i was using data and data is a big part of a phone service experience now in the metro area no issues at all i was getting speeds up to 190 down and like 25 up which if you look at the definition of broadband, usually broadband is considered 25 megs down and 25 megs up. So if you're somebody who doesn't have access to internet by traditional means, having this broadband could be wonders for you. You could get work done. You could get school done. Now in the more rural area, you might expect me to say that I had some different issues. Well, in the town that I work in, there is a huge T-Mobile tower right next to my work. It's literally two blocks down. I was getting better speeds at work than I was at home, but because my job makes me go around the area, I'm not just in one spot, I started to see a lot of differences the further I got away from the tower. But that is to be expected. The further you get away from any type of signal, let's say you're, uh, your wireless internet, your access point, your router that you have at home. The further away you get from it, 
the less the signal is. But it was some areas that I actually uh, have to work and I needed data that the data got down to one, I'll put a picture up, it got down to 1.9, 1.8 megs down and like 0 0.02 up and in that situation i couldn't use the phone but that's not a shortcoming of mint it's just a reality of the work that i do in a lot of places it worked fine but in some places it doesn't work as well but to mint mobile's defense neither did my verizon phone when i had that or the local company that we had ceasefire so Everybody in the certain places that I did have issues with also had issues too. Anytime you get a new service, not a new phone, not a new device, anytime you get a new service, here are a couple of things that you should do to make sure that it's going to work for you. One, of course, make sure that the price is good for you. Number two, if you drive or whatever transportation you use, make sure that wherever you usually go, make sure you test that phone. Make sure you get on a internet or go to a streaming service that you usually use like uh, Amazon Prime Music or Tidal or Netflix, if that's something you do on a frequent basis. Make a phone call, send a text, because you don't want to be in a position, it's a place you're usually at and you can't use your phone. What use is that if you really need to use your phone and if it's a place you're usually at and it's not working. So make sure in the beginning that you thoroughly test the service out that it's going to work for you. And three, if having the most up-to-date phone is the most important thing to you, make sure that they have the phones that you want or that you're okay with buying your phones outright. Because that's one of the things that is really good about services like that is that they don't force you to get a phone. You can have the option of just buying your phone outright. But then again, that is a more upfront cost. They do have phones where you can pay monthly just like any other service. But then again, that's all about you. How do you want to have your experience with your mobile service company. If you don't mind paying month to month for a phone, that's fine. I happen to not like that. I want to have my phone and just have a service. If my phone's a little older, it's a little beat up, as long as it's working, I don't really care. I just want to have a good service for a good price. And I think Mint Mobile is that service for my second line. Would I recommend Mint Mobile? Yeah. Yeah, I would. If you're looking for uh, a cheap service and you don't mind paying for the year up front, Mint Mobile is good. Only if T-Mobile is good in your area. If T-Mobile is not good in your area, it's not going to be good for you. I'm just going to be honest with you. There's no sugarcoating. If T-Mobile isn't good in your area, it's not going to work for you. I do have a referral code in the description. Mint Mobile isn't paying me, but they do give everybody a referral link. So if you use this link, you get $15 added to your account. I get $15 added to my account. So when you win, I win. That's what it says on here. So, so what mobile service do you use? Is it Mint Mobile? Is it Verizon? Is it T-Mobile? Is it Sprint? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it. Thanks for joining me. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this type of video, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like this type of video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.